Hey guys, so we've got another tutorial. We've got Ricardo for this one. So his links will be down in the description. Check his work out down there, but let's just take a look at his Instagram first. So there's a ton of blues throughout the image, but that's mainly because he's been taking very cool photos. But if we come down, you can see he has a real use of green and warm tones as well. So we're gonna be recreating well, I can't find it right now, but one of his images and adding in those blues There's a ton of blues and then there's a ton of green warm tones So mainly with the curves and split toning and then there's definitely a ton of shadows So there's so many shadows like we're gonna add in a lot of shadows with filters and stuff like that And he's also a guest editor inside my course guys. So he breaks down himself three images of his where he takes you start to finish on how he edits them he you get the settings and you get the raw image and you follow along step by step and he goes over his exact process of why he does it how he does it inside the course i am very honored to be selected as one of the guest editors on martin's course i've been editing professionally for about three or four years and one thing that surprised me the most about the course is that i still learned some things especially on the guest section because a lot of people that i follow and i consider a big inspiration are guest editors also on the course i learned a lot a lot of new techniques that i didn't know before i just watched all the course all the theory and I haven't watched all guest editors, of course, because there are so many, but the ones I like the most watched all of their tutorials and I still learned a lot. So if you're starting, if you already know how to edit a little bit, if you're like a professional, if you work with photography, this course is for everyone. I have watched a bunch of workshops, courses, and everything on the internet available. I buy a lot of courses. I like to study the market. So I have watched a lot of courses and definitely Martin's was the best and the most complete one. I only have good feedbacks and once again i'm very honored to be in the guest section if you have any doubts about editing i'm sure this course will teach you everything you need any questions for me feel free to ask as well thanks martin once again for the invitation and i hope you all like the course and then whoever is also inside the course gets access to the raw image for this youtube tutorial so you can follow along in this youtube tutorial as well if you guys like his style you like the blues you like the fade there's a really strong fade to the blacks so if you could come up up here you can check out his presets so he's also got one-on-one -on -one mentorship prints and presets here as well so he's got a few preset packs here for you guys so it depends on what look you're going for but come over here and check them out i'll put a link in the description directly over to these so you can come check them out for yourselves okay so let's get into this one okay so starting off with the settings here so we've got uh 2.8 i'm not sure if this is on a drone or not but 2.8 i think sometimes is the sharpest for a drone 23 millimeters uh, iso 200 shutter because it's nice and bright so we've got to expose it right with a quick shutter and then the cropping you can see that we've just straightened things up maybe that line there was used for a nice straight vertical everything looks much better rule of thirds going on we've got the that rule of third on the horizon there yeah and we just centered it up i think that looks much better like that okay so first things off like we've got lots of shadows now a ton of that's going to be done with uh filters and stuff like that so it's going to be hard we're going to have to bounce bounce around a lot we're not going to do this with the highlights because like those clouds are sort of gone so we're going to go like that and that sort of like makes them disappear a little bit blacks a bit of contrast clarity because there's a little bit of crispness to the image and then clarity adds in a little bit of contrast as well sometimes and then what we're gonna do we're gonna turn on the curves so what's going on here is that we've got this black point lift and it's going to give us that nice silkiness to the the darker shadows or the blacks and look how nice that is looks much better like that and then we've got a little bit of a drop to the highlights nothing major mids are the same uh, not touching the whites there and then this curve pretty much adding in contrast especially in the shadow so we're, we're bringing down the shadow point there which can be important so that your fade doesn't look too weak or like it can look too faded if you don't do this in the curves so shadow point is about the same in each curve uh, mid mids are pretty much the same there's a bit of extra green so like i said earlier there's warmth 
and there's a bit of greens in there as well it's like a warm green throughout the image we have so much of this warm green tone that we want more blues to balance that out especially in the highlights and maybe a touch in the mid-tones but especially in the highlights so we've brought up this blue point quite a bit and that's going to really balance out all those really warm tones that you see throughout the whole image but you see like this building here it goes almost a blue it's kind of hard to pick but i think it looks a little blue and that's coming from a lift to the highlights and whites there just to balance out warm tones and cool tones so it looks natural okay so that's the curves come back to this one on and off so a nice silkness to the image um, not really touching the highlights and whites too much at all and yeah a nice texture to the image for those curves we're gonna have to do a lot of work in the filters can you, you can see how many shadows are down in the bottom or up here and we're not gonna be able to get that by working with these sliders so we're gonna have to do filters and stuff which we'll do very shortly um, saturation sort of has dimming colors uh, I don't know we'll, we'll work with hsl soon actually we'll we'll jump into a split turning here so we've got a nice warmth selected so yeah nice warmth selected and what we're going to do is just add that to the entire image and then for the shadows i mean for the highlights that was for the shadows so we got this like nice warmth and green tone in the shadows there and now for the highlights we are going to do uh, a bit more of a warmer tone i'm just going to put a little bit in there as well cool and then we're going to keep keep balancing balance all the way across so that's going to bring in more warm tones because we're sort of favoring the shadows a bit more we're pushing more of those shadow tones into the highlights that's what blending does it's going to push a lot more of those shadow tones into the highlights but we still keep a little bit of what we're doing with the highlights balance and blending is a little different uh while we're here we'll just drop the sharpening because we we use clarity and sharpening is a bit different to clarity it's like really fine you can see it it's a, a finer sharpness than clarity so i'm just going to keep sharpening down and we might add in sharpening later okay so i think we need to do some filters and stuff like that so what i'm going to do i can't quite see my filters so i got it placed so i'll just select it here so this is all the shadows down the bottom what i want to do is just bring down the exposure so o is showing you where it's affecting i just want to bring this right down so this is just to frame the subject of the photo a bit better and then we'll also for this filter bring down the saturation and it's going to also just stop our eye from getting distracted from down the bottom and then we'll just bring this back up so it makes a pretty big difference and then i think we can do something similar so brushes we've got some brushes here what we've got is so oh this is where it's affecting what he has chosen to do is sort of just not bring out the mountains as much and just make the building more of the subject so again exposure could come down cool and then we've got another one here and we can basically do the same as well let's just um, and then we can bring down the tones as well so that will help with not making this area of the image too noticeable okay so again o is showing you where this filter is affecting now we've shaped lighting towards our subject let's brighten the subject as well so we've got this nice filter that's really hitting the entire subject so exposure is the obvious one let's bring that up and then shadows as well to help it stand out um saturation so doing the opposite of darkening the bottom we're just brightening it adding in saturation helping it stand out okay and sharpening we're going to add some in because we've added no sharpening to the image yet so we can do it here on the subject i think we can just fine tune up here maybe whites getting a bit harsh in those whites go with that blacks not so harsh yeah good good with that and remember everyone inside the course has access to this raw image to follow along step by step along with a bunch of other tutorials okay so i just think we're getting too bright in this area here so if i press o we're just going to darken all this like that light this is getting a bit harsh losing detail and 
Let's keep it a bit smoother. And then just this little spot right here looks a little dark. Let's bring that up. Okay, so for this one, what we're gonna do, we're gonna bring down the exposure. Like I said before, those those real bright whites are getting a bit harsh. I'm gonna bring that down. And then we're gonna bring the blues down. But what is happening here, so we're, if, if I press O, this is where it's affecting. But there is a range mask put on here. So might just make might just give it all a pop, just a little bit. So what we've got going, I'll just I'll just take out a few of those blues and see, take that down a bit. So what, what we've got going on down here is a range mask for colour. So what you do is you select this and you you just drop where you're selecting. So at the moment it's selected on the whites of the building and it's selecting all the colours for where you selected there. So we're pretty much just affecting like the whites mainly in that brightness. That's why it's not affecting the entire circle. It's a really good way to pinpoint what you want to brighten and stuff. Um, we can do some HSL now. So this is like fine tuning stuff, making some colors pop. So we're gonna bring the greens down just so they match up with his uh, yellows. Let's make some oranges stand out a bit more. Reds, definitely bring these up. Blues down, I think we're just getting a bit too blue. I want to get rid of all the blue in the background there, but we'll do that a different way shortly. Look was uh, magentas, look like they're popping. That's like sort of in the building there and stuff. Sort of a pink tone there. Okay, and I'm just going to bring down the luminance of the greens, definitely. So we don't have that harsh shine to them. Luminance is just the brightness of colours. Let's bring up, I think, yeah. Luminance of the blues here. So it's definitely affecting our subject and giving that a nice pop. And it's obviously affecting the background there too. Okay, so one of the last things I want to do, we have a filter here. So what can happen when you take photos, if there's a lot of mist or atmosphere in the image or something like that, I don't know. I don't know exactly, but look how blue it is back there. That's not really correct. So, oh. So what we'll do is just We'll add in some warmth and that will, if you know a color theory, that will take out the blues. And then we'll just deepen it a bit so it doesn't look so washed out. And we can take we can take the saturation down as well. And that's just gonna make it look nicer. Instead of that weird blue you get. Um, and we are done. Like some people might Photoshop out the people, but I don't think it needs any of that. So going over the main takeaways, here's the curves see how much of a, a shine it gives to the shadows and blacks there uh, really really big difference there pretty kind of going deep in the in the shadows there that adds a bit more contrast there sort of helps the fade get that strong yeah making those reds pop that's probably just unique to this photo though bringing the greens down because we've got so many greens because we added them in with the curves blues because that's part of the subject as well I'd take it and it's also like the highlights so kind of makes the image pop definitely adding warmth throughout the entire image sharpening down yeah and then we have something like from this it looks quite blue and like harsh very harsh lighting and now we have something way smoother way warmer and way better overall guys all right, that wraps up that one, guys. So remember, anyone who's inside the course gets access to this raw photo for this tutorial and a bunch of other raw files for these YouTube tutorials. Plus, you get three lessons from him. I think it's over an hour of him teaching how he exactly does it. You get the raw image, you get the preset. That way, you're getting the exact same results as these professional photographers, and you're not guessing, right? So you're not just guessing with presets or not. You don't know what to do after you apply a preset and stuff like that. That's why it's a foolproof way that you are really leveling up your editing because you understand the complete process. Presets, very frustrating because it's just one piece of a very complex uh, process, which is photo editing. So sign up to the course if you want, again, three lessons from him and then there's over 50 other lessons from top 
photographers that are breaking down their exact styles and then i'm there teaching you guys so there's a free training on curves and color probably the two things that are most important that i think people are missing in terms of editing understanding curves and understanding color so that's just in a free training i've got down below that you guys can go watch i think it's like an hour long and i break down color curves and then you will have a much much better understanding and foundation to watch the rest of these youtube videos follow me on instagram guys i'm going to australia really soon and i'll be sharing a ton of content from there and i will be trying to interact with you guys more on instagram because these youtube tutorials i sort of just focus on teaching you guys but if you want to give me a follow on instagram that'd be great and i will catch you in the next one but comment people like ricardo here down in the description because then i can go find them on instagram ask them to be a part of this youtube channel and a part of the course that we're building which is the number one resource for learning photo editing and is what i wish i had when i first began a foolproof way to get the exact same results as multiple photographers to not have editing settings hidden from you like how many people are trying to sell their presets and youtube tutorials very frustrating so this is what i wish i had when i started so i will catch you guys in the next month